Hi friends, let's continue our discussion on uh, bit arrays. Let's take a simple example how bit array can help us in uh, our day to day life. So let's consider this uh, electrical switchboard. It has got uh, eight switches, out of which one switch is uh, not fit. So let me number them 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay, they are <coughs> shown here as their uh, indices 0 to 7. Now, what is the current situation? If you look at what is the current situation, switch 7 is off. So, that is represented by 0. Switch 6 doesn't exist. So, it's on or off. Can't say. Then, switch 5 is off. Switch 4 is on. Switch 3 is on. Switch 2 is off. Switch 1 is on. Switch 0 is on. So that's the status of switches. We can look from this figure and we can say this. <clears throat> so since uh, switch 6 is not existing, so we can also claim that uh, it is off. But yes, one thing is true, we cannot make it on because that doesn't exist. Okay, whatever it is, just for our convenience to make it a complete thing. So let me assume that it is zero because it doesn't exist. So there is no connection. So we can call it off. Now, how do you switch on the second switch? Yeah, it's as simple as that. Just uh, touch the second switch at the bottom, push it, so it gets switched on. So, so we switch on. So push uh, lower side of switch two. So that becomes on. Now. What is the status of uh, other switches? So switch 2 is made on. So what happened to others? Of course, others did not change because we didn't uh, make any changes to other switches. Therefore, what has happened after this switch 2? That means the output 2 has become 1, whereas other things continue to remain 0, 0, 4 was 1, now also 1, 3 was 1, now also 1, 1 was 1, now also 1, and 0 was 1, now also 1. So if you just look at it, these things are just uh, copied as it is except this one. So if you just look at it, they are just copied as it is without any changes here. So what is the uh, binary operations we can think of for this particular situation? So the situation here is switch 2 is turned on. And in this case, we would like to say that none of the other switches are touched and hence we claim that other things are not changed and hence we should maintain the same thing. So how do you think this can be done? So if you just get back to your old Boolean algebra classes then one thing we know is converting 0 to 1 is one option of making switching on 
Now you try to switch on second switch and if you know that second switch was already on. Now what happens if you try to switch on the second so like let's take an example is you try to switch on one. One is already one. It's already switched on. Now what is fun in doing? Anyway you press it on the lower side it doesn't make any change so it still continues to remain one. So if it was one then also it should continue to one. If it is zero it should become one. This is what the process we call a switch on. So when you say switch on then if it is in zero state it should become one. If it is in one it should remain the same thing. So what is this? Zero can become one. One should remain one. So that is possible only with uh, our operation. So if you just uh, look at the truth table of R. So that is 0, is 1, 1, 1. So just concentrate on this one. If it is 1, then if you have earlier 0, now it will become 1. If earlier it was 1, now it will continue to be 1 only. That means if you want to change anything from 0 to 1 or if you want to switch on something to 1 then best thing is or that position with a 1. So what do you mean by that is just uh, look at what we are doing that's our situation. And you don't want to change, that means R with 0, then 0 will remain 0, 1 will remain 1. Whereas if you are with 1, then definitely it is going to be a 1. So if you are with 0, you don't find any change. So let me take a new one. So I just wanted to change the position of 2 to 1. So I will make it 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, only this position I wanted to change. So all others I keep 0 and then or these two. So 1 or 1 on 1 or 0 is 1, 1 or 0 is 1, 0 or 1 is 1, 1 or 0 is 1, 1 or 0 is 1, 0 or 0 is 0, 0 or 0 is 0, 0 or 0 is 0. If you look at it, then this 0 remained as it is, this 0 remained as it is. The switch 5 is still off, switch 4 is still on, switch 3 is still on, switch 1 is still on, switch 0 is on, only switch 2 has changed from off state to on state because only at the second position we made it a 1, all others we put it 0, so that way we can change the position of any position you can make it on if you want to make it on any particular position then at that position keep a one and all others keep zero or it you get this okay now what is status now seven is zero six is zero five is zero four is one 3 is 1, 2 is 0, 1 is 1, 0 is 1. So that's what we are seeing on this switchboard. So 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now, if I want to switch off the switch number 1, if I want to switch off switch number one. What do you do? Just push it on the upper side of the switch. So on this side just push it, it becomes off and when you push that, yes of course only switch one gets off and nothing changes to the others one. So that means we want other to remain as it is. So seventh should remain zero, five should remain zero, 
4 should remain 1, 3 should remain 1, 2 should remain 0, only 1 should become 0 and 0 should remain 1 as it is. So there only one change you want to see here. So how do you convert anything to 0? So anything to 0, 0 can be converted to 0, 1 can be converted to 0. So this is possible only when you hand with a 0. So 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0. Therefore, now an AND operation is required. So if you want to make bit 1 to be 0, then just uh, AND with uh, a 0. AND with 0. And you don't want others to be disturbed. So if you don't want others to be disturbed, then 1 and 0 is 0, 1 and 1 is 1. So this 0 remains 0, 1 remains 1 if you end with 1 and it becomes compulsorily 0 if you end with a 0. So whatever is the input, you want to confirmly make it a 0 and with a 0 and you don't want to change it, then end with a 1. So then what is it? So we need a one here, 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 because we don't want these positions to change. Therefore, when you and these two, one and one is one, one and zero is zero, zero and one is zero, one and one is one, one and one is one, one and zero is zero. 0 and uh, 1 and 0 and 1 is 0 0 and 1 is 0 0 and 1 is 0 so we have maintained the switch 7 is still off state switch 6 still off state switch 5 still off state switch 4 which was on is still on state switch 3 on now still on state switch 2 was off still off state switch 1 which was on now we forcibly made it of switch 0 was 1 so it is still in one state <coughs> so to switch off what is done is and with a 0 switch off and with a 0 switch on or with a 1 so that's a simpler thing we can make use of it and uh, how to work on where to keep 0, where to keep 1, yeah one thing very clear, on something to do with our operation and off is to do with and operation and this is done bitwise so we are working on bit arrays so each bit in the array is talking about different situation. So this simple switches analogy can help us understand what are we trying to tell. So in this case, we are trying to either change switch position on or off or one particular switch, which means that all others should remain unaltered. And how do you make it unaltered? So while switching off one, so make sure that make it one, others keep zero, then use R. If you want to switch off something, then that particular uh, position keep a zero and all others keep one and then and then all others are maintained as it is. Only that particular thing becomes off in this case and that particular thing becomes on in this case. So on for use R for switching on and use AND for switching off and appropriate position has to be used. So what this approximate, how to get this appropriate position so that we see in our next session. So till then take care, see you, bye.